at prompt time again. Jeez, these come around fast. <laughs> But I suppose I am doing them every two to two and a half weeks because I really 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 enjoy them So anyway, let's see what the next prompt is shall we? All right, so the last last one was seeing double trouble and Now we have crawling with rats <laughs> Oh, this could get really 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 messed up right here. All right, let me choose a pencil. This time I'll choose a pencil that's darker than the last one I used because no one could really see that. Crawling with rats, so many things come to mind. Like this, this is a, this is a, a prompt that could just, you could just do so many things with. All right, so I'll do the first thing that's come to my mind is a, um, a skull. Let's do a really, really shitty skull. <laughs> cause we ain't putting no detail into these cause these are just sketches. Maybe a skull with, you know, little, little rats everywhere around it. Um, coming out of the eyes. He's like, yeah, coming out of the eye. Um, coming out from underneath. Something like that maybe, or maybe we could do a, a skull that's chopped off here. This wouldn't be the first time I've done this. And all the little rats are, you know, coming out from the top. There is like some disgusting, like goo coming out, something like that. I'm not, I'm not really feeling these though. Or maybe we could do like a, like a dead body. It's just lying there. You know, like cut open and then there's little rats coming out of the body maybe something like that and then they're just like gnawing on the arms ah uh, gnawing on the legs you know, just doing like disgusting things that rats like to do. I, I think I like the dead body sort of route, um, which kind of sounds really gross, I know. <laughs> but yeah, I think that I am enjoying that other than like this, like skull, nah, nah. I've done something similar like that. I try not to, well, I try not to revisit the same things, even though I do tend to draw similar things over and over again. But yeah, I think that the the dead body one, I think would be pretty cool. Um, but I don't know if I want this perspective. Um, like I could draw this perspective. I've never drawn that perspective before. What happens if we've got like some woman? Because I've been doing a lot of like dudes lately, so how about we do a woman? Um, do something. Maybe we do a woman and she's like slumped over a little bit. So maybe we do her looking down a little bit, like she's not obviously real well because you know she is going to have 
So, <laughs> some rats crawling out of her. And she's like, maybe missing limbs. I don't know. Maybe got only a torso. Bleeding everywhere and there's just rats everywhere just gnawing on her. Maybe if she's half. Oh, okay, how about how about we have her slumped over on the side the side position? And then like she's just got a spine. Arms are like dangling down. Hair flowing up. And there is rats everywhere. Oh man, these are all good ideas. Other than these ones, I don't like them. We'll just cross them out. But like, like I like that, and I like this, and I like this. Like, uh, like I, I like the yeah, like the perspective's good. But I don't know if I want to go down that route because uh, that's going to be super, super hard. Now this one I don't mind, and then this one could be really gruesome. Let me mull over it a little bit, and I'll see which direction I'm gonna go. Yeah. These prompts just keep getting worse and worse at the moment for uh, gruesomeness wise. <laughs> and this one is no exception, trust me, so. Once again, just a little bit of a uh, disclaimer that it's it's gonna get real nasty up in here with uh, this design. I went with the um, the design with the female sort of having her spine planted in the ground and sort of coming over like a drooped flower <laughs> with that design over the others. I was just feeling that one more than any of them. And I really gave her this massive sort of hunchback. I just wanted to give her this whole feel of like she she's been she hasn't been dead for a, for a long time, but she's been there enough where she's got some she's got some bloating issues a, a, a little tiny bit anyway, and. There's still a lot of fresh blood around, uh, especially the blood that's sort of coming out of her mouth. And I sort of, I didn't really uh, know of, of much of a backstory for her other than she, you know, wandering through a part of, of an area that is notorious for rats and they like to eat people, they just pounce. They just pounced on her and they just ate her. <laughs> they've just completely eaten her. Uh, they've eaten all from her rib cage down and all that's left now is what you see here. And her spine has sort of been uh, propped up like that. So it's made it easier for the rats. I don't know. Like I said, I was just, there's sort of really no rhyme or reason to why I've put her like that. It's just, it was just for maximum gore and horror sort of wise. That's why I've done it that way. And I wanted little mushrooms coming out of her just to add that grossness. And all these little rats, I was going to add so many more rats than what I end up drawing. But I don't know, I wasn't feeling it. I sort of thought that it was going to get like too busy real quick so I capped it to the rats that you see and I really made them as mutant and as munted as possible because I wanted some really really different kinds of rats. I wanted ones that didn't look right because they're, they're sort of like this mutant breed that just hunt humans and yeah they just they're just hideous. They're just really, really, really gross.
Backgrounds are just not my thing, so I did my best to just sort of make like a gradient, uh, sort of coming onto like a night sky. And then I went in and decided to paint all the little rats. I did a couple one color and then I did some different colored ones. And then later on, I had them all um, with green eyes because uh, I, I sort of wanted to put them with red eyes and then I realized there's just gonna be too much red in this piece and it's gonna be not uh, distinguishable from each other and I didn't want that so I went with like a green, a really sort of um, fluorescent, well as fluorescent as I could get, sort of green eye, just to say that they're not, they're not proper, they're not real proper rats, they're mutant rats. And my favorite little guy is the one at the back there. He's got his little hand up. He's the biggest rat and he's got his hand up and he's just like so excited that he's getting to just like gnaw on this human. <laughs> he's just like, wow, oh my God, I'm having a wonderful time. So <laughs> he's, he was, he was actually a last minute um, uh, addition because I wasn't going to add a big one like that. And then I thought, no bugger it, I'm gonna add like a little bit of a, a sort of a comic sort of funny, like funny bit to this piece. And that's what I did. I just um, added this uh, crazy looking rat who's just so excited that he gets to gnaw on this dead body. Now, I wasn't a huge fan of the way I did her hair. Her hair was something that I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking and and that's and, and that's what happens when you don't use a reference. <laughs> um, I didn't use a reference for her hair this time. I just thought, oh, I know how to draw hair now and uh, yeah, it turned out like that abomination. So <laughs> um, I think I'll still use references in the future for hair because I, I sort of need it a bit. So definitely, definitely uh, not the best part of this piece. But the other thing that sort of, uh, I'm not real impressed with this piece either is I sort of feel as though everything blends in a little bit. And I have noticed that some of my pieces do feel very uh, blend, like they blend in with each other a bit too much and you sort of can't really distinguish um, parts really, really clearly. And I have always struggled with that in my pieces, the more, congested a piece gets so yeah that was a little bit of a struggle I had uh, with myself over that too but I do try my best to distinguish pieces and try and go in and do the best uh, you know separation as possible and I usually do that with a bit more of a thicker liner and then I go in after that with a white gel pen and try and separate each part from the other. So yeah, if if you have noticed that some of my pieces are like that and they have never mentioned it, don't worry. I am fully aware that some of the things I do just it just all looks looks like one big mess. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like I said, one thing, uh, another thing that I have to work on with a lot of a lot of things. Um, like I have good and bad days with with certain things and uh today was a bad day with hair and sort of making everything look uh a little bit more um you know intertwined but yeah all in all i i do like this piece i do i don't mind it it's very gruesome and uh i showed my partner this piece and he just goes what is wrong with you <laughs> why do you keep drawing this really gory stuff and he should know by now but <laughs> anyway oh i digress so i'm going in i'm putting the blood and the blood coming out of her mouth is like hands down my one of my favorite parts to this piece and then putting the blood around all the might like the rat's mouth especially the big boy in the back which is my favorite <laughs> i really oh he just makes me laugh he's just so excited and then yeah adding the shading trying to get the shading right and trying to work out uh where the shading's gonna go and yeah 
I've sort of run out of things to say. I'm not sort of really flowing with my with my uh, conversations today with this. So I'm going to end it there and let you enjoy the rest of this. And hopefully you enjoyed this. If you want to participate, I'll have the hashtag below. By all means, draw your own version, share it to me because I want to see what you guys come up with. That's it from me. I'm out of here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.